welcome to DB Yoga with me, Maddie. Today I've got a bit of a chair or desk flow. So I've had a load of requests of people asking me what they can do if they are working from home. They haven't got quite time to go jump on their mat and do stuff and they just want to do something seated at the desk. So I've got like a kind of a kind of gradual more upper body flow here. Um, if you can't fit it all in a one, just break it up. So maybe do the first few exercises, then pause. And when you go have your next break away, you can then jump in the next part. What you're going to need is some kind of strap. So I've got my dressing gown cord, or if you've got a yoga strap or resistant band, or you need something like a tennis ball. I've got some homemade chutney in a jar, just something you can grab in your hand, basically, just to add a little bit of resistance. So we're going to start seated. If you want to start with some breath work first, pause the video now, just do some seated breath work, but think about those nice nasal big breaths, taking them down into the belly. And we're going to start with our hands on our thighs, shoulders relaxed. And we're going to come into a seated cat and cow. So as you inhale, I want you to start to lift the chest, slightly lift the gaze, draw the shoulder blades together. And then as you exhale, begin to round your spine, begin your chin to the chest and broadening and keep that going. So inhale from a side view, lift the chest, relax the shoulders, and then exhale to round. Just taking three more rounds here. And then as you inhale, coming back to neutral, we're going to separate the legs so they're a bit wider, feet firmly on the ground, so if you're too far back in your seat, come forward. We're just going to come into some side bends, so you're just going to reach side to side. So what we're looking to do is free up our tissues in the upper body, get some movement in all areas, which can get really tight when we're crocked over, so just keep this going. Let's come into that lateral flexion. Now we're going to be taking the strap next. So when you're ready, you want it nice and wide. We do this in class quite a bit, so we're a little bit different from seated. Start with it resting on your thighs. You're going to bring it up and over and behind you. Now if it's too much, bring the hands further apart. I'll give you some more room to work with so it's not as much on the shoulders. If it starts to get easier then, you can begin to walk the hands together. Keep that going. Now we're going to hold it behind, keep the belly strong and just pull the hands apart and just feel that lovely stretch across the chest, the front delts as well. And keep pulling, we're going to take that left hand down, just open to the side, let the head release. And then inhale to centre, exhale, take it over. And then inhale to centre, bring the strap back in front, fold it in half, bring it behind you, and again you might want to come further forward on your seat. You want to be grabbing the strap at just about hip distance, we're going to stay seated here, we're going to forward fold, bringing the hands up and over, as far as you can, keep pulling the hands apart here, and then pull your left hand down, you can start to twist and look to the right. Then back to centre, pulling the right hand down as you twist to look to the left. And then come back to centre, keep the arms lifted and see if you can come all the way up, keeping them as high as you can. If the back of the seat gets in the way, don't worry, hold it there for three, two, one and release, shake it out, you can get rid of the strap. Now we're going to bring our arms in front, create two fists, this is where we'll have the option to use a tennis ball or maybe my can of chutney. All we're going to do is come into some shoulder cars, controlled articulate rotations. We come in front, we're going to open. Now if you feel like you want to add some resistance, this is where you might want to grab something, it's a nice way to add a little bit of load. Coming all the way in front, try not to twist open through the whole body, just working into this shoulder. Once you've gone one way a few times, go the other. Again, you can spend as long as here as you need, so pause the video if you need to, if you want to spend some more time here. 
and then of course coming on to the other side. And nice and slow and controlled. And then go in the other way. And then releasing, give the shoulders a nice shake. We're going to bring the arms up to the ceiling. We're going to go one arm at a time. So we're going to go through elevation of the scapula and depression. Elevate, depress, keep that going. So alternate again from the side view. What we don't want is any popping out the rib cage. So nice and strong through the front of the body. So just moving those shoulder blades. Again, for another view, we're looking at the back, just working those scapulas. And then bringing the arms in front, coming straight out in line with the shoulders. We're going to do the same, but we're going to reach one arm forward and back, then the other. Again, no popping of the chest. Everything stays nice and tight here. Last couple. Now we're coming to our spine, giving our spine some more attention. We're bringing the hands the back of the head, elbows flat. We're going to come into some nice thoracic extension. We're just going to lift everything up, make it leaning back into the back of your chair, and then come down and just slightly round. And then again, lift up, come to that thoracic extension, and close. Keep it going. Now as you inhale, lengthen the arms up as you come back, and then come upright. Do a few more times with the arms overhead. And then interlacing the hands back behind the head. We're going to bring the elbows in, and bring the elbows down, and then lift all the way back up and open. And again, bring all the way in, press the head back into the hands. And all the way up. And again, all the way in. And all the way up. Last one. And all the way up. Through back, come back to neutral. We're going to cross our right ankle over the left thigh. So figure four, so a nice little bit of a glute opener. This might be enough for you, and if so, stay there. Maybe starting to lean forward into it. Alternatively, just apply a gentle pressure to the thigh to open. If that's still not enough, again, add the fold in as well. Breathe here. Three more breaths. And then come all the way up. We're going to turn towards that front foot and we're going to bring our right elbow to the sole of the foot. See if you can join the palms together for a prayer twist. So keeping the pelvis in line, the seat will help with that, but really draw the belly and rib cage in. If this is too much with the spinal twist, bring right hand to the foot, left hand to the hip and use that to get your twist. And then inhale to centre. We'll release the right foot down, cross left ankle over the thigh. Again, maybe you stay upright, just apply gentle pressure here. Maybe you add the fold. Flexing that left foot. Starting to breathe into that space where you can feel the opening into the glute. And then coming up, turning to, towards that left foot, so if you turn into your right, maybe you just hold the hand to the foot and one hand to the hip, or maybe you take that prayer twist. And 
and then coming back to center. So last bit, just a nice little bit of hip extension to counter that flexion. So hands on your seat, feet nice and planted, and we're just gonna lift the hips, squeeze through the glutes, and come back down. Feel the glutes from the tip of the chair. And again, lift, nice open the shoulders too, and come down, and again, lift, and come down. And that's it, so that's just a short little chair flow. If you like it, let me know. I can film some more for you with some added bits, more for the legs as well. Namaste.